Now let's open up the images that we want. Let's click Control Shift and O. Now Control O is generally the open tool, but this is Control Shift O. It actually opens up um, Bridge. Bridge is another software that usually comes up with um, Photoshop, with Adobe in general, and it actually gives you the um, the uh, preview of the images that you want, even if they were actually Photoshop documents, it actually shows up here. Now, here I've selected some of the images. I actually just downloaded them online. I've selected some of them just to preview here for you. Now we're gonna go for something a bit realistic, like like this, and then we're gonna hold Control and select something more artistic, like this, and um, let's go for something like this and that and click enter. Now this is actually sending it to fireworks for some reason, I have no idea why. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually right click, open with and select myself Adobe Photoshop CS6. I have no idea what it sent it there. Uh, sometimes this happens but it's good to see these things happening you know it actually gives you a general idea of how to solve this you know. Sometimes it decides to open it up on its own you know in a different software so generally you can just right click and select which software you want it to open now let's go for this one how do you transfer this image to that image in the previous um, recording we actually covered this up you go for the move tool select and drag quite simple and there you go you have it here now right here we're gonna be removing this white color from the image itself the uh, color itself, uh, you can see that this contiguous um, button sometimes is actually clicked, so when you do this when you click, it only samples out this portion, so if you remove this tick and you click again, it's gonna select all of the white in this layer so you just click delete and there you go, it's gone now this tree is quite big, how do I make it smaller? you can go to control T Control T opens up the transform layout. So you can actually go ahead, you see here, right here, when you go to the edges, you'll see these signs appear, the symbols on the corners. It's the scale option, but you can see it's quite actually destructive. It's um, demolishing the image. It's not l keeping its aspect ratio. So how do you keep the aspect ratio? You just hold shift by holding shift can make the image smaller without losing its um, ratio. Now we can call just control, uh, just click control, uh, enter, and this would open up. Now what if I wanted to scale down to the center? I can just click here. You can see how it gives me this again. If I hit click shift, it's gonna keep it to the other corner. If I click keep holding ALT with it, it would actually scale from the center. And there you go. Now, this is our first image. What if I want to duplicate this? I want to make multiple trees all over the place. We can do something simple, which is Control J. Now, this is something not wrong. Uh, I, in Photoshop, there is very minimum uh, number of wrong things that you can do, but um, Every once in a while you're gonna find that some ways are better than others. Nothing is wrong, but some ways are better. Like for example, now we're clicking Ctrl J, copying this and putting it here. Then Ctrl J, copying this and putting it here. Then again, there. And then making this one, for example, s s uh, larger. Again Ctrl T and making it larger. Now we're gonna face a couple of issues here. Number one, you'll see right here that number of trees is quite big and it's quite random and it's gonna mess up all of your layers. Now this is something that you need to avoid for some so many reasons. If you do this like that, it's not a big deal, but when you do this like that, the number of layers is gonna grow much bigger. For example, if you're doing this map, you're gonna have hundreds of trees in this portion and that's not something good because first of all you're gonna have hundreds of layers secondly 
the RAM will go really low this layer system eats up your RAM so your software is gonna go really slow now we're not gonna face this issue on my machine my machine is quite powerful it has uh, enough RAM to handle a, a quite a large image but in on in general even this machine is gonna uh, end up lagging at some point so try to work around the software in a way that would actually be easier and uh, smoother on your machine and on your own workflow you don't want to be just um, you know facing issues here and there because you know I can't move the mouse it keeps glitching out and breaking all over the place that's not something you want to do you want to be focusing only on art on your own design on your your own art you don't want to be you know bothered by technical difficulties here and there so how do we handle this we can handle this by actually in a simple way and by the way simple way doesn't mean the good way in a simple way you can just go around after you finished all of these you can just go ahead select all of the layers and merge them down by right click merge layers and there you go now they're all on one layer now this is not quite good why it's good for some uh, aspects in the uh, software but it's not good here why because the process of creating trees is gonna be quite heavy so you're gonna be facing that issue when you reach the 500 tree for example you're gonna be really really slow and you're gonna be uh, for a while you're gonna be gradually suffering until you reach a point where you're like oh no come on that's it that's enough let's go ahead and merge all these you merge them out and you, then you are gonna go and okay we're now gonna go back and again well let's duplicate this and oops see you have multiple trees you don't have one tree now this is an issue that's number one number two you're gonna go back again to the same idea that I'm gonna be creating trees 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 until I actually suffer enough and that's it it's gonna be quite heavy for you so how do we handle all of this let's select all of these and delete them there's no need for any of this let's go for the I'm gonna teach you now how to actually uh, duplicate items within the same layer let's go for the marquee tool shortcut is M as usual select all of this now since we are on this specific layer we are not sele selecting anything on the other layers you can click V which is move now when you move you can see that actually clips the object because there's nothing around it there's nothing around it so it actually clips to it all of the surrounding area is empty you see this button the hide layer button how do I isolate a layer you can just click alt and click on the eye it isolates it then go again alt and click on this but be careful if you click alt and here and then you for example do this and now you want to unisolate again it doesn't work because you've changed something in the aspect so it remembers whatever you've done so if you have the them on just don't do anything except clicking on alt and on the eye now go back to this um, we can actually duplicate by going to the move tool and holding alt and control you can see how the symbol changes this duplicates within the, the layer you can see that we are still on the same layer and it's duplicated so you can actually this is quite faster you can just go ahead and do this and that and there you go one more tree that a tree there a tree here tree there see that's quite fast and this is very beneficial you can go and say okay one tree one tree one tree one tree see quite fast and since we're not creating multiple layers this is quite f very very uh, light so we're not going to be facing any issues over there.